Hi guys, today we're looking at impact, how we can get you those beautifully struck iron shots, ball and turf every time. We're gonna be focusing on a bit of elbow work, a bit of hand work, a bit of shaft lean that comes from that, and also a little bit of what the hips are doing also. So we're gonna be trying to get the whole package of the hips and the hands and elbows working correctly in that little downswing sequence to make you a better ball striker. Now, obviously there may be reasons why you struggle with this, which may be happening prior to this, but this is like a vitamin drill. Working on this will help your ball striking, regardless of how you move prior to this point. So it's gonna make a difference to that kind of compression, being able to trap that ball, as some people call it, and be able to really get those piercing, well-struck iron shots off the fairway. Okay, so we're doing one of my favorite drills at the moment, which is we're gonna hold the golf club like a walking stick. We've got an alignment rod on the ground. That's gonna represent where we don't wanna be. We wanna try and get our low point after that spot. And we're gonna work on trying to decelerate the club and accelerate the hips and decelerate the hips correctly. So what we're gonna try and basically do is take the club back one-handed like this, bring our arm down, so our elbow kind of gets to that alignment rod. Then we're gonna stab the club into the ground like so. You'll see that. There's a decelerating, but there's definitely a downward angle and there's definitely a leaning of the shaft, okay? Bear in mind when we are leaning the shaft, we are gonna be supinating the arm to stop the ball going right. At the same time we're doing this, we're also gonna be bumping the hip. So there's a lateral move to the hip, which happens before this. So the lateral movement of the hip, elbow, bump. We're posting the hip. We're extending this lead leg. Don't want to be hitting that stick though on the ground. That's because I was focusing on the leg. We want to be extending that leg. So straightening this leg. The legs change flex. Those things happen at the same time we get that stabbing action and decelerating action. If we get those things correct, we have the correct elbow function. The elbow is ahead of the hand. Then the hand flicks down going from its very extended state to less extended in order to deliver that shaft of the ball. The pelvis going into that slight lateral move helps to shift our pressure and our low point further forward. The decelerating of the club ensures the speed is in the best area to give us maximum distance. Hitting the club and stabbing it into the ground helps us get that ball and turf and that low point in the right spot. So this does everything for us. So the process would be Step to your station, swing it down slowly, feel that low point, add that lateral bump and straighten in the leg. Ideally, you never hit the rod like that. So it's very rare I hit the rod, but again, taking the focus into a secondary area makes it harder. Move the rod across, place the ball just left of the rod, depending on what club you got. So I've got a seven nine in my hand, so I want this rod to be level with the back of the ball and in the center of my stance. That's where I'd want it. Take two hands on the club, feel the same thing. Now I'm gonna go and hit the ball, trying to recreate the same thing. So the lateral bump, the deceleration, I'm not gonna try and have too much of a fall through on this one and try and deliver that club the same way. So nice divot, you'll see there it's after the rod. We want that every time. The flight in that ball was fantastic, I loved it. Obviously that wasn't a full, full swing, but that would definitely be where I'd start. And then I'd start to add more extension and rotation to add a bit more speed to it as we go through. So once we've got that feel, let's add more rotation and extension to it and make it more a real shot. But still on the practice ground and still on the golf course, I still feel we're trying to achieve the same things. Now add more, add more rotation, more extension. That one was bang on. So again, divot in a similar spot. Flight in the ball was crazy good. Had a tiny bit of draw in it, which is my kind of stock with an iron. 
So really happy with how it felt. So it helps me get that low point right. You know, for me personally, I'll hit a few shots wide class as being a little bit thin, a little bit skinny, one groove out. Doing that rehearsal and doing that little warm up drill really helps me feel I get that ball and turf contact every time. Helps me get that crushing feel. So give it a go and see how you get on. So there you have it. The real way of maximizing your contact on the course with a seven iron or mid iron or long iron. If you've enjoyed the video, please click like and share the video. Also post any comments or questions down below, particularly requests for videos. I really appreciate those and really help my channel grow. Also, if you haven't followed me already, hit my logo and let me help you improve your golf and lower your scores. Lastly, thank you for joining me here today at the Forest of Varden. Hope to see you back here real soon.